I'm going to step you through the creation of a prompt specifically for artisan designers. Who got into graphic design in order to do this? Who wants to do this? You're going to end up taking a prompting class? Fuck that shit, I'm not taking a prompting class. And I'm not giving a prompting class. And I'm not giving a prompting class. I've come to the realization that ChatGPT, while highly problematic, which I'll deal with at the end of this video, does serve a function. I think it's better to think of it as just a more effective search engine rather than as actual artificial intelligence. It's just better than Google search for some tasks. Here's how I automate my workflow and build my prompts specifically for artists and designers. What we see on the screen is a piece of software called Text Expander. It's available both for the Mac and for Windows. Text Expander allows you to expand content with just a few keystrokes. This is key to saving time. To prompt effectively, I build complex prompts as forms in Text Expander. I'm going to step you through the creation of a prompt specifically for artists and designers. Okay, automating chat, chat GPT workflow. Automate and build smart prompts. I use text expander to build prompts. And so, so the, basically the text is analyze the following text and use your current understanding of the following topics. What we do here is we insert a list box so that this text is a constant. And all we need to do is insert our subject matter, our topics that we're interested in. Stick with me here, get an overarching impression of what's happening. It will all make sense as we move towards the ChatGPT browser. The next part of the prompt is in your analysis and research, focus on the way the following issues intersect with the topics from above. And then what we do is we type in, we type in a set of issues each time. The third part of our prompt is the goal of your analysis to, is to help me solve the following problems. Again, we will then list um, a set of problems or a simple problem. In the case that I'm showing, it would be to help in the conceptualization of a museum scale contemporary painting. Freaking 90% of you boneheads who have seen more than one of my video uh, are not subscribed to the channel. So and reach down and hit the subscribe button. The fourth uh, component of the prompt is then use your research, then use your research and your, and your analysis to provide a list of conceptually related and important essays or articles. Uh, and at the end of the, at the end of this process, so at the end of your result, provide both a 100 word synopsis of your analysis, Slash, re slash research, as well as a bullet pointed 500 word synopsis. Now, when we start this, we're going to place uh, a, a clipboard item in our, in our prompt. So what we do is we start with a selection from an essay or an article. So if you've got an essay or an article um, here, I'm using a selection from the $12 million stuffed shark, the curious case of economics and contemporary art that would be copied you, that would automatically be copied, Command C, to the clipboard. And then the selection is automatically included in the prompt. Here at long last is our finished prompt. You can see Text Expander uh, quickly expanding our research. Uh, I use a tilde research prompt. And what we see here is we see that the prompt says produce comprehensive MFA level research for me, right? And then there is a pop-up menu to select how many words, 3,000 words, use your current understanding of the following topics. So that text is baked in, that text is static, you never have to write that. And then there is a, a field that we uh, placed inside the prompt where we simply list our topics. So here we have contemporary painting since the year 2000, the hyperreal, the commodification of the work of art, the book, the $12 million stuffed shark, and Fortnite. You can see here on, at the bottom of the clip, we, I mean, at the bottom of the prompt, we inserted a clipboard item. And prior to starting our research, we were in, we were in Apple Books. 
uh, on reading that book, The $12 Million Stuff Chart, and selected a salient section from the book and hit Command C. That copied it to the clipboard. So that's already built into the prompt. And then we can say that in your analysis, it says in your analysis and research, focus on the way the following issues intersect with the topics from above. Uh, Jungian psychology, the Jungian concept of the shadow, notions of the hyperreal. Um, and then the goal, we can see here that it says in the prompt, the goal of your analysis is to help me solve the following set of problems. And the problem is to research the construction of a museum scale contemporary painting. So then we hit OK. At which point it populates our ChatGPT. ChatGPT goes and produces uh, our research for us. Now, ChatGPT also ha currently has a it has a character limit or a word limit. I asked for five thousand words. It will no longer do that. So what what I've also built is I've also built and expand your research. Uh, prompt and it's uh, there's a pop-up that allows you to select which paragraph so expand paragraph three of your last response expand paragraph four of your last response in some ways my last two videos have been about hypocrisy things that i say or have said that i will never do i end up doing i uh, still think that the future of contemporary art and graphic design or design ruled by prompting, ruled by prompting is some serious bullshit. But uh, there has been a lot made, there's been a lot made about the notion that the chat GPT is a form of artificial intelligence. It's actually more, to my mind, um, a complementary tool to Google search. And so this kind of automated workflow is really ultimately about um, is about uh, leveraging Google search and not relying on not actually relying on the results in the way that they're presented. Uh, to my mind, and in my experience with ChatGPT, what it does is it presents work, it presents research that appears to be intelligent, but when we start to think about it. It's a, it seems to be an average of of um, of human intelligence, and so therefore, it it can help at the beginning stages of research. But if we rely, or if one was to rely on it exclusively, uh, the ideas will suck shit, and uh, you'll be doomed. Until next week, see it.